Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. Today we're putting your stoic knowledge to the test with 12 famous quotes from the philosopher Carl Jung. How well do you know his teachings in Ultimate Stoic Quiz? Can you guess these Carl Jung quotes quiz? Through this quiz, we are looking to enhance wellness of mind and spirit by investigating the teachings of one of humanity's great modern Stoic interpreters. Carl Jung, the renowned Swiss psychiatrist and founder of analytical psychology. He was not a Stoic in the traditional sense, but his teachings are deeply intertwined with Stoic ideas. He explored the depths of the human psyche, focusing on self-awareness, inner transformation, and understanding the unconscious mind. His insights into the nature of humanity are timeless and often resonate with Stoic philosophy. Uh, let's find out. Join me as I take on the ultimate Stoic quiz and see if you can guess these famous Carl Jung quotes. Can you get them all right? Let's see if you can guess what he meant by them and how they relate to deeper philosophical ideas. From the shadow to the self, Jung's quotes will challenge your understanding of psychology, philosophy and personal growth. So are you ready to put your knowledge of Carl Jung and Stoic-like wisdom to the test? Let's get started with our first quote. Question one. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. What is Jung implying here? A. We have no control over our lives. B. Fate is predetermined. C. Self-awareness is key to personal growth. D. The unconscious mind is irrelevant. The correct answer is C. Self-awareness is key to personal growth. Jung believed that the unconscious mind holds immense power over our actions until we bring it to light and take control of our fate. Question 2. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people? What concept is Jung highlighting here? A. We all have dark secrets. B. You must confront your own flaws to understand others. C. Only bad people have darkness. D. Avoid dark thoughts to stay happy. The correct answer is B. You must confront your own flaws to understand others. Jung emphasizes the importance of acknowledging your own shadow, the dark parts of your psyche, in order to empathize and help others with their struggles. Question 3. Your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. What is the core message of this quote? A. Focus on external success for happiness. B. Dreams are more important than reality. C. Self-reflection leads to true understanding. D. The heart is more important than the mind. The correct answer is C. Self-reflection leads to true understanding. Jung teaches that true clarity and personal insight come from looking within rather than focusing on external distractions. Uh, question 4. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. What does Jung suggest here? Is it A. Annoyances are inevitable. B. We reflect our own flaws onto others. C. Other people's behavior is always irrational. Or D. Anger should be avoided at all costs. The correct answer is B, we reflect our own flaws onto others. Jung believed that the traits we dislike in others are often mirrors of the aspects we deny in ourselves, a key aspect of shadow work. Question 5. I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. What stoic principle does this reflect? It is it. 
A. We are defined by our past experiences. B. Our choices define our future, not our past. C. Fate controls everything. Or D. We cannot change our destiny. The correct answer is B. Our choices define our future, not our past. Like the Stoics, Jung emphasizes that personal responsibility and choice shape who we become regardless of past experiences. Question 6. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. And what is Jung emphasizing in this quote? Is it A. Avoid dark thoughts and focus only on positive thinking? B. Enlightenment comes from confronting your shadow. C. Light represents wisdom and darkness represents ignorance. Or D. Daydreaming leads to enlightenment. The correct answer is B. Enlightenment comes from confronting your shadow. Jung believed that true personal growth requires acknowledging and integrating the darker hidden aspects of the self. Question 7. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. What does this quote encourage? Is it A. Becoming rich and successful is the ultimate goal. Uh, life's purpose is to discover and embrace your true self. C. We are defined by our roles in society. Or D. Success is defined by how others see us. The correct answer is B. Life's purpose is to discover and embrace your true self. Jung encourages individuals to embark on a journey of self-discovery, realizing and accepting their authentic selves. Question 8. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. What's Jung warning us about here? Is it A. We should avoid difficult thoughts? B. People enjoy being irrational. C. Self-reflection is often avoided because it's painful. Or D. Our souls are insignificant? The correct answer is C. Self-reflection is often avoided because it's painful. Jung is warning that many people avoid introspection and confronting their inner selves because it can be uncomfortable. Question 9. The shoe that fits one person pinches another. There is no recipe for living that suits all cases. What is Jung highlighting here? Is it A. Everyone should follow the same life path? B. We must find our own individual approach to life. C. There's a universal formula for success. Or D. One size fits all solutions are best. The correct answer is B. We must find our own individual approach to life. Jung emphasizes that each person must find their own way to live authentically rather than following someone else's path. Question 10. Loneliness does not come from having no people around you, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to you. What is Jung saying about loneliness? A. Physical isolation causes loneliness. B. Loneliness comes from a lack of meaningful connection. C. C. You can only be lonely if you are alone. D. Talking to others always solves loneliness. The correct answer is B. Loneliness comes from a lack of meaningful connection. Jung suggests that true loneliness arises when you cannot share your innermost thoughts and feelings with others. Question 11. The pendulum of the mind oscillates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. What concept does this quote address? A. The mind is always logical. B. Life is about making moral choices. C. Thoughts are not strictly right or wrong, but vary in meaning. 
D, we should never question our beliefs. The correct answer is C, thoughts are not strictly right or wrong, but vary in meaning. Jung believed that the mind swings between understanding and confusion and that clarity comes from finding balance, not rigid answers. Question 12. Wholeness is not achieved by cutting off a portion of one's being, but by integration of the contraries. What is Jung referring to here? A. Achieving wholeness means removing negative parts of yourself. B. True self-acceptance involves integrating all aspects of your personality. C. Wholeness comes from rejecting contradictions. D. Positive thinking is the only way to wholeness. The correct answer is B. True self-acceptance involves integrating all aspects of your personality. Jung believed in the importance of accepting both light and dark aspects of ourselves to achieve psychological wholeness. How did you do? Did you guess most of the quotes correctly or did Jung's deep psychological insights take you by surprise? Let me know your score in the comments below. Carl Jung's wisdom encourages us to face our inner selves, confront our shadows, and seek wholeness through self-reflection and integration. Whether you aced the quiz or learned something new, these timeless teachings offer valuable insights into the nature of the human mind. Thanks for joining me on this ultimate Carl Jung quiz. If you'd like to share your own scores or favorite Jung quotes, leave them in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider smash the subscribe button for more content on psychology, philosophy and self-growth.